So what was the most um, pleasing aspect of that one? Oh, I think just the even contribution across the board from our playing group. Um, you know, we've been working on that as a group to, to build depth within our footy club and I thought it was a great even contribution as a team. You know, I thought we were strong around the footy. Um, we moved the ball pretty efficiently and we defended quite strongly. So I thought it was an even contribution in all phases but also from all individuals. Yeah, a few youngsters stepped up as well. Bailey Fritch kicked three. Uh, is he sort of on his way to a round one debut, do you think? Oh, he certainly played well today. So um, he's certainly putting his hand up. He's... Uh, He's a pretty talented kid, you know, we, we've watched him closely at Casey throughout last year and, um, you know, he's fitted in really strongly into our playing group, so he's given himself his best opportunity to, to continue to, to play the way that we want him to and, um, you know, round one might be an opportunity for him. What do you like about the way he goes about it? I think he's just good in the air and at ground level as well. You know, he's a top of 40, he's a difficult matchup, so... Um, you know, he's got some ability. He's still working on a lot of things within his game, especially to, to take it to a new level of AFL standard. So uh, we'll keep working with him and building that within his game. But, you know, he's a, he competes in the air and also at the ground. Jack Lever looks like a good fit down back. What did you make of his game? Yeah, well, I thought he was really strong. You know, his communication and leadership from behind the ball was really evident again today. So, um, you know, he's had a really great summer from a training perspective um, and he's fitted in really well to our playing group. Okay, Brayshaw, what, what are you, uh, what's his role going to be early in the season? Yeah, he'll be you know, he's versatile for us. You know, so he um, you know, can play inside on the wing and also down back. Um, so he played a you know, variety of different roles today. Obviously, when Jordan Lewis went off the ground, he played predominantly back. Um, but he's someone that we missed last year. We, we didn't see a lot of footy out of Angus. Um, so he, he's an exciting prospect for the club. What was the reason why uh, Jordan went off the ground? Yeah, well, he was just a little bit tight in his calf. Um, so obviously we're still a month away from round one. So um, we didn't want to take a risk and it was more precautionary to get him off the ground. And um, as we still, we still a long preparation in. So um, yeah, he, I'm sure he'll be there for round one. Do you feel as though you've got like a really good depth across half forward and those guys, I suppose you mentioned um, Neil Bull and um, Melksham as well. Those, those sorts of guys really seem to gel together and they um, use their, advantage, their strengths to advantage as well. Yeah, I think we've got a forward group that's, um, you know, good competitors one-on-one. -on -one. I think they, they compete really strongly when the ball's in the area, both in the air and the ground, and I think um, they put an enormous amount of pressure on the opposition. So um, they're building some really good uh, chemistry together. I really love their team first today. I thought they shared the ball well, and their shot selection inside 50 was very good. Were you trying, were you trying any experiments with that forward line setup? Because there seemed to be a lot of numbers going through and a lot of options for scoring. Yeah, we've been working on that for a couple of years, just um, depth through our midfield and also through our forward line. Um, and guys to play multiple roles. You know, you would have seen Hogan, Hannon, Petrarca, um, Oliver all play forward through the, through the middle of the ground. Um, Angus Braveshaw played a variety of positions, as did Christian Salem and James Harm. So variety is really important for us and that versatility. And, um, you know, it's something we've been working on for a couple of years. It's only pretty early. Um, are you happy or you, you seem to have struck gold with Milcham? Um, and the way he's going to contribute to the team. Yeah, we got Melky to the club um, because we knew he had a, a lot of ability. Um, to, to Jake's credit, he's really knuckled down over the last couple of years. He, he had a year out of the game um, and he's come back um, since becoming a father and become quite mature and, and gone about his game building that the right way. And um, We put him in a position as a forward last year and he, he excelled. And um, you know, We've got some high hopes for Jake and his ability to play in that forward half of the ground for us. Were there any things that you tried today that you were particularly happy with how they worked out? Oh, there's a lot of things we tried. Um, there's a lot of things we've been working on over the summer. Uh, we'll continue to evolve those things. Um, now, they're certainly by no means perfect. We've still got a lot of work over the next month to build ourselves up towards round one. Uh, we know we're going to have a, a really strong start to the season and the way we want to go about it. So uh, we've got plenty to work on still. I know you've got a few more weeks before the next game against St Kilda, but do you think Tyson, uh, Jetta and also Viney will be back for them? Um, definitely uh, Jetta and Tyson will probably be um, ready to go. Um, Jack, we'll just wait and see. He's probably uh, potentially another week away. You know, He's doing a lot of training at the moment, so uh, we'll continue to monitor his loads and make sure he's right for the whole season. It's not just about round one, it's about the whole season. So we'll just see how that goes over the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks, Thanks,